Barbie Girl Club. So I just watched a live from, I believe it was Dulce K and Shades of Resilience. And it inspired me to create this video. Um, and before I get started, um, I do want to encourage all exoticals, all light-skinned women who have YouTube channels to stay encouraged because it is tough out here in these YouTube streets. People are still trying to humble us in our own spaces, in real life as well as online, and I know it's hard and it's frustrating when all you want to do is just express what you've been through in your life experiences and you just want to help people who can relate and you got people who don't relate wanting to come into your space and tell you about your what you got going on and what you're talking about and people can't take away other people's experiences and the colorism conversation according to Alice Walker's definition is about skin tone discrimination in general and it's not like they said in the live that I watched earlier it's not an Olymp it's not a um oppression olympics it's not like oh you struggled more than me so you don't get or I struggled more than you so you don't get to talk about your experiences because I've struggled more and that's not how it works in life like we've gone through things too we probably have gone through it a little bit because we not only have to deal with it from the uh, black community if you're lighter skin but you also have to deal with other races who are racist in general and I've dealt with both when I was living in Hawaii when my father was stationed in when my fa father was stationed there and I was like between third and fifth grade um, I got bullied by Filipino students because over there is majority of Filipino and Hawaiian culture. And I was bullied for being black. I'm light skinned, but because I'm still black, they only see me as black. But when I go to the black community, I get looked at as light skinned. <laughs> Y'all, when I was bullied in Hawaii, I literally got ball thrown at me that's the type of bullying i dealt with like people actually throwing things and hitting me in the face and pointing at me and laughing like the tv stereotypical bullying situations i was in those situations being light skin it's like you're made to feel guilty by the like automatic like just because you were born how you were born it's like if you dare to talk about anything that you've gone through it's invalidated because you're not dark skin and dark skin people have it worse. So automatically that means you just don't matter. You don't you have all your experiences just don't mean anything. You're not alive. You're not a real person. I don't I don't get it. Like our pain doesn't mean anything. I don't understand that part. And another thing, we're not allowed to be confident either. Like let me dare like it's it's like when since ever since my confidence has shot up through the roof because y'all know I've had confidence issues, but I'm at a place now in my life where I'm not, I'm, I, I keep my head up high when I walk now. Like, I'm a whole different person up in here. And I feel confident and pretty. And I feel guilty about that because of my skin color. Because I don't want people to miss, because I still have this thing where I feel like people are going to misrepresent or I'm, like me, like people are going to misjudge me for being confident and think I'm being bougie. And I still have that whole, people are gonna think this about me in, my, in the back of my head. And, like, and sometimes I, ought to, I notice I put my head down and I have to check myself. I put my head right back up. Cause I've always been the type of person, I don't like to make other people feel no type of way, make people feel bad. I like people to feel good, but when I do that, it's like people don't care to hurt me though the same people that i try to help like i made a colorism tiktok page like a year ago talking about colorism issues and you know what they say you call a light skin savior that's what they called me i was standing up for the dark skin girls because i didn't like how they were being treated but it was like simultaneously they were treating me back 
You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not allowed to say anything because of my skin complexion. So it's just annoying. It's very frustrating. I feel like, oh, even when I do share my experiences online, I feel like a mean girl. I feel like it's coming off as a mean girl. And I think that's still me, in a sense, trying to not to be judged in a certain light because of my talking points. But I'm just sharing my experiences. But it makes me feel like I'm being a, a mean girl because I'm talking about my experience on the lighter end of the spectrum versus the darker end. Because that's what I, that's what it feels like. But I don't, it's not supposed to feel like that. Do any of y'all light skinned girls know what I'm talking about who have channels who are talking about light skin issues? And you know how you, people, like people have tried to humble me so much that I end up humbling myself sometimes without even realizing it. Like, um, when Dosa K and Shades of Resilience was playing that video of that light skinned girl talking, like, it, it did trigger me too. It, because it's just like we're not allowed to have a voice. It's weird to me. Like, we've been silent for so long, and now we're finally saying something. We're not even mainstream yet. And we are ready. Imagine when we go mainstream. We're not even mainstream yet. I don't think we are. But that's how much power we have. Is we have to remember that. Like, people are trying to shut us down now. Because they know what we are capable of. They've been trying to silence us because they know. And we have to remember that, too. Because they already know it. We just have to remember it. That we... You know, we're the, we're the shit, too. You know, we are the shit. We are. We have... When you have haters, you're doing something right. I mean... That's what I was told. And I have to keep that in remembrance. You know? When I'm going through my days when I feel like I need to stay, when I need to be encouraged, like when I'm having my down days, where I feel like, you know, maybe this channel is a little too mean. And I have to check myself. Like, no, this is my experience. I have a right to, you know, have a voice. And I'm not being mean. I'm not even talking about anybody. I'm not calling anybody names. So why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like I'm being a mean girl for talking about the light skin experience? Why do I feel like a colorist? And I'm not a colorist. And I've all, all I've ever done, and I don't want to get emotional, but all I've ever done was try to help people. And it's hard. When people are just judging you for how you look, you know. Sometimes I even want to have like bum days and not dress up too much. Cause I get tired of the judgment at my job. So it's kind of like I I need a YouTube. I need this channel. I need, I need y'all, you know, like, this is my support system. This is all I really have. I don't have family to talk to. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get myself together. I don't have family. I don't have a mom that I can talk to about this. I don't have friends. I just have a microphone. And y'all to listen. You know, I just have y'all. I don't even think y'all understand. Like, I really only just have y'all. I'm trying to stay encouraged. It's just hard. Because people... People think we have it perfect, and we don't. We're, people think... People associate lighter skin with being attractive. A lot of people automatically do that, so it's just like, if I feel like I'm pretty, and I want to actually say out loud that I look, I feel pretty, 
people automatically are gonna think I'm being colorist or and it's not even nothing towards them and that's the part I don't get that's the part I really don't understand <laughs> ooh y'all forgive me for crying I know it's very cringy when people cry <laughs> but y'all I'm just emotional Cause that video I was, that live stream that I was watching, <laughs> man, I'm trying to stay encouraged, and I want y'all to do the same. So, and for those who are afraid to start your YouTube channels, don't be afraid. All of us are gonna have, you know, days where we almost feel like not continuing our channel because of other people and just keep in mind that just if you were if you just keep and remember that your channel is for you and your subscribers and people who can relate to you and you feel like you're making an impact on it. If I'm making an impact on even at least one person, I feel like I'm doing something. And so just remember that. Remember that you have a voice. You have something that needs to be said. You have, there's things that probably haven't even been talked about yet that you might have an opinion on that can trigger other people's thoughts. Like the other day, I believe it was Exoticals United, if I'm not mistaken, that brought up how men can be jealous of us. And when I heard that, I was like, what? Because it opened up so many, like, memories and flashbacks of situations where I felt that men have been jealous of me and have tried to humble me because of it so many situations so many ex-boyfriends so many people so you just never know how you could really help somebody by saying just saying what you have to say over the microphone and nobody has to know it's you you can be anonymous but we do need to get our voices out there So people can hear our side of the story. There's a whole bunch of channels for the unambiguous community. Bigger channels. More main they're more mainstream about their talking points than we are. People still are trying to silence silence us. And all I'm doing is just giving my opinion. And I'm just hoping I'm helping somebody out there. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing because I love editing. I love creating. It really, truly brings out my feminine side. It truly helps me decenter men. And it just gives me a sense of community that actually loves me and cares about me. Instead of the fake love that I tried to, you know, because people at work, I, I, in re, realistically, they're not my friends. As much as I want to make a friend, I just know it's not real. Especially in a job environment, there's just too many people with bad intentions for their friendship with you, like. People don't have as good intentions when they try to befriend you. They're hot and cold, wishy washy. It's just too much of that, and I don't like it. So, having a YouTube channel will it will help you have that sense of community and that real support system that you need, and you're in. Remember, you're always in control of your comment section, so you don't have to deal with the bullshit if you don't want to. But yeah, this like skin guilt thing is like is really serious. I'm not. I'm trying so hard not to, you know, feel that way. I really am. 
Like, I, <laughs> like, I used to even think I was darker than I really am and everything because, like, people think it's like, it's, a, it's almost like you're bragging if you acknowledge that you're light skinned. It is really, it's just a fucking skin complexion. But that's all I wanted to say. What are you guys' thoughts? Um, let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for listening.